What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I have three dividend stocks for you to buy right now. Um, they are high yield dividend stocks. They are down. These are stocks that you need to capitalize on right away and capitalize on for your dividend portfolio. And we're going to check these out right now. First stock I would like to introduce you to is Global X NASDAQ 100 Covered Call ETF. Now this is an ETF that's a high yield monthly dividend stock that has been down and has done very well. I'm going to show you the expense ratio and what type of stocks this stock covers, uh, actually ETF covers. So this is one that really is not going to do well against the S&P, but this is a high yield dividend stock for that really nice monthly dividend. So we're going to check out the expense ratio and what type of stocks that this um, covered call ETF covers. So first of all, anytime I look at exchange traded funds, I want to see how they look according to Morningstar. So Morningstar rated them five star, which is fantastic. So basically, the Global X NASDAQ 100 cover call ETF follows a cover call or buy right strategy in which the fund buys stocks in the NASDAQ 100 and writes or sells the corresponding call options in the same index. So the distribution yield is 12.46, which is fantastic monthly dividend. And when you always look at ETFs, you want to make sure that you see the expense ratio. So that's one thing that you want to look at. The expense ratio is 0.60%. But again, these guys are doing the work for you. So this is what's really nice about the stock. 12, I mean, the distribution yield is 12.46%. I have it on my M1 finance dividend portfolio. I'm considering putting it on my E-Trade dividend portfolio because my goal is to make $1,000 to $3,000 a month on my monthly dividends and $2,000 to $4,000 a month on my quarterly dividends. Now, Let's check out what type of stocks this uh, ETF covers. Now, this is important when you invest in ETFs. You want to know what's inside of it, okay? It's a piece of the pie. So if one stock takes a big hit, that's all right because you've got other stocks to cover for it. Apple's a big one, okay, 11%. Microsoft is 9%. Amazon is uh, 8%, Tesla is 3%, Google is 3%, Facebook is 3%, Google is 3%, um, NVIDIA is 2%, uh, PayPal is 2.2%. So these are some really good stocks. Pepsi's involved. Pepsi's a great dividend stock. Texas Instruments, how many times do you remember those TI-83s in high school? Amagen, Starbucks, Applied Materials. So these are some really good stocks. ADP is involved. Um, ADP is involved with a lot of your IPay statements for your paychecks. These are some very good stocks for this um, ETF. So I'm just looking at all these here all the way down, and this is very solid. So let's just look at its dividend history real quick, because if you want a high yield, high dividend, monthly dividend stock, you want to know what's inside of it and how much it distributes. So let's check that out. So this ranges from 17 cents to 22, 23 cents. So that's really good. Okay, if you have a dividend portfolio or a M1 finance dividend portfolio and you're trying to put money into it, this is what you wanna see as a dividend stock. One, it doesn't increase its price per share and then dividend yields 12.69%. That's extremely attractive if you are a dividend investor. So, you know, 12.69%, High dividend yield, eh, expense ratio is not too bad. I like that. And I'm gonna to reveal to you the next stock that I have in mind. The Universal Corp, I got a pretty good tip off from someone on Twitter. Um, thank you, P uh, Mr. Ian, PP Ian. Um, that was, I saw that tweet and I did some digging. I did a stock and dividend analysis in Universal Corp. If you look at the max of it, it's not gonna jump up too fast. It's a tobacco company high yield dividend stock. It's right around the 5% range. I'll show you um, how it's done real quick against the S&P. And look, the S&P has killed Universal Corp. So it's not gonna really increase its dividend as much. 
So if you notice, look at these stocks that I have, Enbridge, Altria, Philip Morris, well, I'm going to add Philip Morris, but right now I have Universal Corp, and I just added that to my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. So it's not going to really increase as much. Unfortunately, um, people are still going to smoke. It doesn't matter how much you educate them. Uh, UVV stock is uh, a very good uh, high yield dividend stock, which I will show and reveal its uh, stock and uh, well, I just did a stock and now stock analysis. I'm going to show you a dividend analysis on it. So looking at the stock, this is what you like to see. It hasn't done well against the S&P. Big question is, has it increased its dividend over time? Again, it doesn't matter how much they tax cigarettes or cigars. People are still going to smoke. I mean, look at go out to the bar when you're out with your friends and look at how many people are still smoking or how many people are vaping. And a lot of these companies like Altria and that, they're, they're going into the vaping business because they know kids are gonna vape, even though vaping is not one of the best things to do because you get all this like oil deposits and they're worried about vitamin E. Doesn't matter how much you educate these kids or do anticipatory guidance to try to let them know like it's not good, they're still gonna do it. So let's look at Universal Corp's dividend history. Okay, looking at its history, it has went from 2016 to 53 cents to 54 to 75 to 76 to 77. Dividend yield 5.777 cents. Dividend yield 5.76. PE ratio 21 to 0.11. Annual dividend 3.08. Uh, the next dividend date is 4 uh, 9 2021. But let's look at this. So put money in this stock, you reinvest the dividends, you're going to be rolling. So you know, it's not jumping up too much, okay? Um, I looked at Verizon, I was like, Verizon or UVV? And I'm like, okay, I don't, you know, if Verizon starts jumping up with its dividend stock, I can't compete right now. So I'm putting money into UVV. It's kind of, it's not jumping up too much. It's good dividend stock to buy for a nice high yield dividend stock of 5.76%. So I like the way things are going. And of course, this last stock, I just discussed this, Take a guess what I'm gonna what I bought. The final stock I got was energy transfer. So I just did a big YouTube uh, lecture on energy transfer after I revealed my dividend portfolio uh, on E-Trade. And I just really like the way energy transfer distributes its dividends. I know they took a little bit of a hit, $5.09 billion that they made in 2018, right around 12,000 employees that they said on their website, these guys like acquire companies and they just adapt and adapt and adapt and adapt. And they're just a powerful overall company that has done very well over time and has significantly grown as a company. I know their price per share and their dividend is not very hot right now, but let's think about it. The energy sector is important. When you diversify your dividend portfolio, you always have to look into other stocks not just you know rates or financial stocks like JP Morgan or you know stocks like Starbucks or McDonald's. You need to diversify and energy transfer yields a high, it's a high yield dividend stock. I just added it on my E-Trade dividend portfolio this morning. I threw hundred dollars down, got it right around 12, 13 shares of energy transfer. And because it's so big and the potential of energy transfer. I know there's issues with the pipeline and you know everything was halted. These guys adapt and the really strong energy companies, Chevron, Exxon, I, I really think BP, either they get sucked in with the juggernauts or they start um, adapting to change. And these are one of the guys and the big dogs that actually adapt to change. They're increasing their dividend. If you look at its previous history, Okay, but now it's dividends right around 15 cents a share, which I will show you in a second. But it's just such a huge company. Okay, it's a big, big, big company. Okay, and it's basically it acquires companies, which I, I'll show you in a second. But it's just it just grows. It's just empire. They have they, they just do such a great job. I'm going to show you some of their acquisitions. So here's one thing, they just transferred and an enabled midstream of $7 billion in all equity trend, transaction. So these guys just acquires, okay, just 
companies. I mean, they just, they're just powerful. Okay. It's, uh, you know, they just, you know, the, the merger agreement where energy transfer will acquire enable in all equity trans transaction with approximately $7.2 billion. These guys just like suck people up and they just get bigger, bigger and bigger. And to be honest with you, I'm not from Texas, but they say everything's big in Texas. That's a great state to live in. People that make a lot of money, like are starting to leave California and go to Texas or other states. Uh, just watch one of Graham Stevens videos where he basically said he left California and moved because of the taxes are crazy. So Cal so energy transfer is still strong. I don't care what happens with the market. These guys adapt and you're always going to need different sources of um, fuel and energy. So that's why energy transfer is one of the best high yield dividend stocks right now. And I'm going to jump to its dividend history. So at one point it was 30 cents, but right now it's right at 15 cents. And I'm not too worried about uh, what's going on with the stock. I really think it's gonna stand out strong at a 7.48% dividend yield. Um, they're just bigger and bigger and they'll just adapt to change. So I'm not really too worried about energy transfer. Uh, I really like the way QYLD has done. I really like the way UVV has done as a company. They're not, obviously there's three things I wanna address. One against the S&P. These companies have not really done well against the S&P. Two, they've increased their dividend over time or you know have been pretty consistent with their dividends. I know it's down right now with um, energy transfer, but I have a, a, a high, um, I feel very confident in energy transfer with the way that they are as a company. I did a lot of digging and research, a little bit of stock and dividend analysis on them. And the most important thing like UVB is they increase their dividends over time. They're going to increase their dividends per, uh, over time. When you look at something that's about five, five or more percent, you still have to study the stock, understand its potential before you, you know, put money in it. Because some stocks, you know, um, they increase, you know, their their dividend, the high yield, but they're in so much like trouble. They're trying to, you know, get you into that yield trap. And I fully believe, again, I'm not an accredited investor uh, or a financial advisor or anything like that. Um, I have a disclaimer and um, in my description, but I believe that these are some very high yield dividend stocks that are very stable and have a lot of potential in the long run to generate passive income. So let me know what you think of this video. If, if you own all three stocks or considering them, QLD is a great stock. Energy transfer is a great stock in my opinion. And UVV is, has a lot of potential. Um, let me know what you think of these three stocks. This is Dark Dividend. You guys have a good one.